Thanks for joining me again, Jasmine Iman here. And today, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm back to my favorite do, my faux locks, which are actually yarn locks. I do this hairstyle using only yarn. And today I thought that I would give you a little information on them as well as a quick little tutorial at the end. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. All right, so first I wanna give you a little information about them and then also go into pros and cons about having faux locks or yarn locks, whichever you wanna call it. Now with faux locks, you can do them with yarn, you can do them with Kanekalon hair, or you can do them with Marley hair, which is definitely more popular because they look so much more natural. I did it once with Marley hair, but for me the process took a lot longer. It has little hairs that stick out that you have to make sure you trim, or if you don't, then at the end of the day, they kind of all tangle together. And it was always really heavy on my head when I did it with Marley hair versus light yarn. So that's why I always stick with the yarn instead. And also I stick with the yarn because it's a heck of a lot cheaper. When I did it with Marley hair, I think it was like $50 to do it, um, to get all the packs of hair and everything. But with yarn, it only cost me this time $9.24. Now the specific brand that I use of yarn is called Red Heart and I have the little wrapper right here. Don't mind my nails y'all, you will see, continue to see it like this for the rest of the video. I apologize but it already was looking crazy and then doing these braids didn't help. But the reason why I use this brand is because it's 100% acrylic yarn, which is really good um, with your nat against your natural hair to ensure that it's not really tangling with the yarn. So that's why I use that brand because it's trusted and highly recommended when doing yarn lock. Now you are going to see me with this hairstyle for a little while because I do like to keep them in for at least eight weeks and they definitely last, which I love. It gives me a little break and I like those. I like breaks. Now how I maintain this style, basically while I'm sleeping, all I do is I just put a scarf around my edges. That's it. That's it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do a lot more, like wrap up the actual locks, but I don't. And when it comes to uh, washing my hair, what I've been doing lately, because lately my scalp has been even more dry than normal. I have a very bad scalp normally, but now it's like been 10 times worse. I don't know what it, what's going on, what it's doing. But now what I do is I take some apple cider vinegar and I rub it on the exposed scalp. I go ahead and part it, rub apple cider vinegar all over it, put a plastic cap over my head basically to let it sit for a little while. I don't really know the science behind it, but apple cider vinegar is very good with your scalp. I do know that it, balance, it helps balance your pH levels. So I do that step first and then I go ahead, get in the shower and wash my hair as normal. So nothing really deep or too extra or anything like that. But I do want to recommend to try to just focus on your scalp. Try not to really get the locks. As far as pros for this hairstyle, I would say for one, it's a very great protective style. It definitely protects your ends. Usually when you get individual braids, sometimes you see your real hair like little strays poking out. With this, because it's also wrapped over top of the braid you have none of it so you know all of your hair is definitely protected for as long as you keep the braids in and it's really simple you know just get up and go i love those kind of styles i love them next pro as i mentioned earlier it only cost me nine dollars and 24 cents i love any style that is very inexpensive for me that's what it's all about right right and lastly, another pro that I really love, especially because like I mentioned, I've been having a very dry scalp lately, is the fact that your scalp is exposed. So I'm able to oil my scalp or moisturize my scalp as often as possible because my scalp is out and you see it, you see this. All right, as far as the cons, I don't really have many, but as I mentioned earlier, when washing your hair, you don't really want to get the locks, and that's because yarn, when wet, is extremely heavy, you guys. Like, I wash my hair, and I'm like, until it's dry. And that's another con. It's a very long drying time, and I do also take a blow dryer to it, but it still takes forever to dry. So that, those are two cons that I have. And then of course the next one, because it is essentially two styles in one, first you braid, then you wrap, it takes a long time to do. But at the same time, I'm one of those people that do five braids and tell myself that I deserve a break and I take like a three hour break. 
So that could also be it too. And that could also be why it took me so long. But for me, it takes me my entire weekend because of what I just said. But um, I think you could probably get these done in about eight plus hours, which sounds like a lot if you don't usually get braids or individuals, but if you do, you know that those take a long time, so you understand. But yeah, like I said, I did do these myself, so um, I'm also going to go ahead and show you a little quick tutorial on how to do it so that you can learn how to do it yourself too, and this style can really only cost you $9.24. Who can say no to a style that costs less than $10? Of course you're going to want to learn. Come on. All right, y'all, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and take that good old coconut oil and, um, you know, just go ahead and coat my hair with it. Make sure it's nice and moisturized before putting it away for those two months. Next, I take four strands of yarn and go ahead and start doing an individual braid on that section of hair. Now I continue to braid until my real hair stops and once it does, I stop braiding that yarn. Saves me time too. Next, I take three strands of yarn and begin to wrap the yarn around the braid I already created. As you go, you wanna make sure you continue to slide the yarn upwards to make sure you keep it tight so that it doesn't unravel once you let it go. And of course, I go ahead and continue to wrap the yarn until I get to the bottom. Um, once I feel like I'm at a good place, I do make sure that I, of course, measure it against the rest of them so that they are as even as possible. Right here is where I take one of the strands from the three that I used to wrap, and I go ahead and tie a knot. Make sure I tie it real tight, and then I go ahead and do it a second time. And once I'm done with tying the knot the second time, I also take all of the yarn and kind of pull it to make sure that it's as tight as possible and it's not gonna get loose. And then I go ahead and take my scissors and cut off excess yarn. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it a second time, just in case you want another look. Never hurts to see it twice before you try it on your own. I'll put a sweater on, I get it around. A bit and fruit swimming in your juice. A lot of ways I can get to you. But my train of thought is trying to get you out to ch -ch chew. <laughs> Still, we keep it low. Keep them all on and need to know. Cause somebody tell somebody I'm somebody, and I'm sorry, but somebody gonna need to go. I'm not trying to question you. Just can't stop thinking about you. I promise you ain't never really freak out till you had a freak out and see each and every freak out on freak out to freak out. Let's see about it. No credit, no credit, no I don't keep the ends scraggly, so what I do is I burn the ends using a lighter. And that's the end result. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching yet another Jasmine Iman video. Of course, you know I love and appreciate all of the support. And to continue to do so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, you can go ahead and share this as well. Let your friends see. But as always, until next time, peace.